I have this aluminum pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna start by painting it in our chocolate. I'm using a foam dabber from the Dollar Tree. And I'm first gonna get the paint all over my pan. And then once I have the coverage, I'm gonna do this dabbing motion and it's gonna really help my paint adhere to my pan. I did not use any primer. And I'm gonna set that aside to dry and then do another coat. I'm gonna use my Sharpie brush tip pens and I'm gonna start by making these white swirly lines. So I'm kind of making a line and then a curl. The first one I made a curl on one end and a curl on the other and then I just kept making them longer as I approached the bottom of my pan. Then I'm gonna make these two teardrop shapes with the white and then outline it with the black. I'm gonna create these long eyelashes, about four or five at the top and four at the bottom. Then I'm gonna make a teardrop within the teardrop and fill it in with the black, leaning towards the inner portion of the eyes Then I'm gonna take my white and fill in between the black teardrop and the outer teardrop and just fill in that extra space. Then I'm gonna put some dots inside the black portion of his eye. I'm gonna make some eyebrows, a smile, and a chin. I'm gonna take some Republic Red on a dabber and just give some rosy cheeks. I did find that the paintbrush tips um, became a little translucent when they dried, so I did fill in the eyes with some snow owl. And then I'm gonna add some dots in the cheeks. Then I'm gonna take my gray Sharpie and I'm gonna outline the eye, and then I'm just gonna put some highlights on my eyelashes so they stand out a little bit more. I glued this heart down for a nose, left over from Valentine's Day. And now I'm gonna spray it with our clear Rust-Oleum times two. I found this hat, this little chef's hat in the children's section at the Dollar Tree, and I filled it with some paper. And then I'm gonna glue just the left and the right side slightly shut. And then I'm gonna glue the chef's hat on the top portion of my pan. I don't want it to cover my face too much, so I'm gonna kind of really get it on the back well, and then just glue it along the rim in the front. I'm gonna put some greenery at the bottom along with the bow. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. I added some floral wire and a craft stick and glued it on the back for a hanger. Thanks so much for watching. Cutouts at chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much.